Hamburg cement is one of the largest building material producers in the world. In more than 40 countries, the group manufactures high-quality products people need in their everyday life. The principle of sustainable development plays an important role for the company by taking responsibility for both society and nature. In its quarries and gravel pits, the company's commitment towards the environment becomes tangible. At Heidelberg Cement, the flora and fauna protection already start during the quarrying activities. Excavated areas are immediately followed by rehabilitation and become valuable habitats for a large variety of animal and plant species. In order to promote the uniqueness and diversity of habitats in quarries, Heidelberg Cement launched the Quarry Life Award. Quarries from all over the world opened their doors to project contestants. During several months, students and scientists collected, tested, and promoted their ideas about these unique habitats and species. Есть может быть отчасти предупреждение, что любая деятельность человека она негативна. There is a prejudice that any human activity affects nature adversely. However, it's known that some species benefit from it. They successfully adjust to the environment, which has become more appropriate for them than it used to be. It's very important to understand that, investigate, and make conclusions. Projects ranged from biodiversity management during extraction to scientific research on endangered species, and even included projects to educate schoolchildren. Through our project, we want to show children that an exhausted quarry is much more than a dead lunar landscape and disprove this deep-rooted stereotype. We want to demonstrate that such quarry has a potential to become an oasis in our agricultural countryside, where plants and animals that have no room or chance to survive elsewhere can live and be found. The main idea of the project is to show which species utilize the habitats quarries in high altitudes offer and to see how the quarry itself impacts the species' abundance inside and outside the quarries. I wanted to see which species are found in the quarry and which species depend on the quarry in this region. The main target of the Quarry Life Award is to raise the knowledge of the biological value of quarrying sites and contribute to the protection of biodiversity. However, it proved to be much more than that. The Project Quarry Life Award is very important since it allows beginners, students, graduates, or already formed professionals to express their innovative ideas and implement interesting projects. The most valuable thing we get from this contest is the fact that Tvornitsa Cementa Kakany provided us this great opportunity to positively influence the biodiversity in the Ribnitsa quarry. Our NGO, Eco Kakany, is for the first time experiencing such type of project related to a quarry. So it is a great honor and pleasure for us to participate in this contest. It is a great challenge above all, and we hope that this project will be of some assistance for future ecological projects that we are going to implement. QLA. It is a great idea, an original one. It is good that it is an international contest. Thus, everything that we are doing here at Garajje has also an international aspect of transferring the ideas to other countries. We can compare ourselves with other countries, nations, learn about other systems of protection for biodiversity. For sure, the idea is splendid and should be continued in next editions of Quarry Life Award. 
Over the course of the summer, national jury members and international jury members actively followed the projects as they developed. It is exciting to see the variety of projects and ideas coming from different countries. And indeed, the Quarry Life Award connects the countries through their projects. Of course there is rivalry, but it benefits the great idea of a global award. There was one particular project in which a contestant was looking at how biodiversity is enhanced in a place where rehabilitation takes place by looking at butterflies. That was something very interesting for me. The contest was very keen. The Quarry Life Award was a very keen project. And as a jury member, I realized that the selection of projects was not easy because people came from different angles. They brought different things to the table. To judge whether one idea was better than another was not an easy task. But then I realized that people had different opinions about looking at things and how they could help the biodiversity ambitions of the award. So we looked at it from this angle and thought that we should go for the best innovative ideas. And that is what we did. 80 projects from 18 countries were carried out in the first edition of the International Quarry Life Award. All these projects, although being in competition, connected participants from all over the world with each other and opened up new perspectives. They made the Quarry Life Award a starting point for long-lasting partnerships for the benefit of biodiversity. Now, when various directions of environmental projects are being implemented in Georgia, we try to realize them in accordance with Western standards used by the civilized world. In this regard, the project is very important and in fact is setting a precedent here when such a large company as Heidelberg Cement organizes such contest, how to bring the quarry to natural conditions again. It was so unprecedented and interesting that of course the Ministry of Environmental Protection supported this idea, this project, and we became partners. Our partnership will also continue in the future. We plan to have more partnerships with universities and NGOs. NGOs because they are a good input for our operations and they are also a good partner for getting us to think about issues we normally do not have in mind. They are the voice of our communities around the factory. We also like to have universities on board because they are full of young people and young people are the future of Twiga Cement. They are also the future of Tanzania. The students of our finalist group and their teachers were all in a very good mood and very motivated right from the start. They were also very happy to get active for nature protection and already told us that they will continue to support our renaturation measures here at the Nussloch Quarry in the future. Heidelberg Cement is proud to say thank you to the participants of the first Quarry Life Award for their dedicated work and scientific expertise. They have made this competition a great success and nature the biggest winner. <laughs>